everybody, as always, I'm Megzi, and we are back with some more Resident Evil Revelations. So it's been a few days, I'm sorry, I've been a little busy, um, with Halloween and everything. And, you know, that's what I want to say, I hope you all had a good Halloween, I hope you had a happy Halloween. If you'd like to comment and tell me what you did for Halloween, what you dressed up as, etc., I'd love, to, I'd love to read about it. Um, personally, I dressed up as a ghost. Um, I had on like a white wig, a white top, a uh, grey tattered skirt, some black boots. I did my makeup like all in white down my arms and my back and my face and my neck with little black lines that were supposed to look like cracks. And I had in contacts, uh, one really light blue one and one dark blue one. And uh, I went down to my brother's house and I went with him and his fiance and their kid, their three kids, and I did the kids' makeup, and we all went Halloween, uh, we all went Halloween, <laughs> we all went trick-or-treating, which was fun, um, there weren't that many people that were answering their doors, but, and we just live in that kind of area where there are people are mostly older and don't really want trick-or-treaters, but we found a few, we got some nice sweets, and we obviously had sweets that left over from what we bought for other trick-or-treaters, because we didn't tend to get that many, <laughs> So yeah, if you'd like to comment and tell me, tell me what you did and what you dressed up as, I did um, my nephew, two nephews and nieces makeup, and they were like, um, had a skeleton Peter Pan, a skeleton fire and zombie, and a skeleton princess. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so we're going to continue now, um, so enjoy. I found a bit more uh, comfier position on my chair. chair. I think after this playthrough... Oh, one Previously, <clears throat> Resident Evil Revelations. Jesus, no one could have lived through that. The stories of their resurrection are true. Then the setup that got Joe and Parker, it was all... <laughs> it's a trap! Yeah, I'd almost guarantee it. But Ryan, we'll go after Jill and Parker. Make your way to the Mediterranean. Where? Can you reach HQ? No, I'm calm, sir, as it seems. We'll be stuck here. I even got Spider-Man and Hitman and Mirror's Edge and oh my gosh, so much to do. And The Last of Us as well, so. Oh, Pop is okay, thank goodness. That's you, isn't it? <laughs> oh, did we shoot? BSAA. I'm confused. A little too late. What is the FBC doing here? <laughs> answer me, Raymond. I don't have to answer anything. Okay. You have no authority over this. There's no time to fight. We've got to... Give it a rest. I don't even know why you're here or who you're fighting. Raymond! Stop right there! Nothing will change. Unless you get your hands dirty. So the FBC is on this ship too. What's going on here? We're operating without any intel. We need to search this ship for answers. Not that I relish the idea. Sorry, just had to reset that up again. Um... Okay. That's about right. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, let's go. Oops, oops. My bad, I've been playing Life is Strange a bit, and I was using that button to run. <laughs> Darn, I'm 
and I tried to run, <laughs> and I forgot the buttons. Uh, that's what happens when I play one game and then go play another. I haven't played this for a few days, like I said, so I, I keep forgetting everything. <gasps> Parker, save me! Okay, thanks. Darn it, and then try to sit down and it came out dormant. <laughs> dormant. <laughs> Ship layout. For all staff and crew, the Queen Cadabia is a pleasure cruise liner that provides world class service with the comfort of a luxury hotel for our passengers. This ship offers numerous services and facilities for our guests. As a representative for the ship, it is your job to be familiar with all the facilities that can be found here. The following list outlines some of the major facilities on the ship. Please read each one carefully. Promenade Hall. Boasting an area of 1,500 metres squared, the ship's promenade hall has three floors and is more spacious than any other ship in the world, don't you know? <laughs> the interior is done in a gothic style, with ceilings covered in chandeliers. Its ocean style arrives out of the finest opera houses. Casino. This ship's casino can be found next to the promenade hall. All kinds of gaming pleasures await our guests, including card games and slot machines. Everything guests would expect from a casino can be found here 24 hours a day. Restaurants and shops. The promenade hall has a design of good, uh, goods and brand new stores from all over the world. Guests can relax at our many restaurants and bars. There are also e shops that cater to our guests' everyday needs. Emergency communication room. This is an emergency communication room next to the promenade that can be used as a safety point during an emergency. Crew can also use this room to transmit an emergency distress call should the news arise. Solarium. The tufted glass of the solarium overlooks the world's largest onboard swimming pool. This romantic spot has been a favourite destination for many of our passengers. Be on the lookout for couples who sneak in after hours. Oh. That was swimming pool, right? Oh, solarium. Okay. Cool. Okay. I, I know where we gotta go, Par Parker. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I thought I'd look. Oh, for fuck's sake, I keep doing that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I keep pressing R2 to run, and I keep forgetting this is not Life is Strange. <laughs> but it doesn't really run on there either. I will play that game as well. Oh, shit. Of course, of course it's not working. You know? That's not friggin' working. This way. Please protect me. Use town key. Okay. Discarded message. Oh god, please help me. This can't be happening. Don't leave me to die in this hell. I'm trapped here. There, there are monsters here. Real ones. Everyone's dead or dying. There is no survivors. Shit, we're all gonna die. Oh, sorry. Random Australian dude. <gasps> I found it. I found it. Yeah. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, God, that's disgusting. I'm a little bothered by you. How horrible it must have been a painful death. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Ahem. History of the Queen Zenobia. Tonnage, 148,000 gross tons. Displacement, 90,000 tons. Length, 335.8 meters. Beam, 52.3 meters. Height, 93.97 meters. Propulsion, electric diesel propulsion. Crew, 1,094 officers and crew. Passengers, 2,200. This paragraph... 
Paraguas, what? I have no idea what that word is. This Pablo Guas Lion flagship was constructed in 1978. The interior is designed to replicate that of ships of the 1930s, the golden age of cruise ships. The design was based on blueprints left by George Trevor before his disappearance. Newspapers from the time of the ship's construction report accolades the design received. This ship herself is named after Zenobia, the queen of the Palmyrene Empire? Don't know how to say that either. Who was supposed to post? What does that mean? By the Romans. <laughs> I don't know. Like the legendary beauty of her namesake, this ship is also known as the Beauty of the Atlantic and remain one of the most popular cruise ships built in the 20th century. With the rise of air travel supplanting the popularity of long seafaring voyages, it looked like the Queen Zenobia, along with her sister ship, was destined to be junked in the late 80s. Fortunately, she was purchased by the Paragas Line and her steam turbines were replaced with an electric diesel propulsion system. Her hold and cabin areas were expanded and she was upgraded with the latest technology. The Queen Zenobia was reborn as a fully functional luxury liner. After its restoration, the Queen Zenobia set out on a cruise around the world, followed by one around South America and many, many others. In the future, she will find her main harbour in the Mediterranean for her cruises around Africa. The Queen Zenobia will be bringing pleasure to passengers for years to come. The History of the Queen Zenobia, 1995 edition. Okie dokie. Thank you for that information. Oh my god, would you stop doing that? Shit. Hold on. <laughs> There's a map of the ship here. Fucking hell, stop pressing that button, Megan. I, I just keep pressing the damn button. Yeah. Hold on, did you say there was a map of the ship? I wasn't, I wasn't listening. Okay, thanks. I'll take it. Thanks for uh, noticing the map. We should find an emergency communication room if we go through the hall. We should go to the emergency communication room. Maybe try to contact HQ. Yeah, sure. Probably going to be more complicated than just going to a room. All right. We got to find Rim. How do you know him? Hi. I used to work with him. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, we saw your flashback. We saw. Didn't really tell us much about him, though. Like my friend Hassan. Bastards. I'll use my gun to fry them off, giving me time to get the hell out of there. The bullet went straight for its arm, thank god. These monsters have bones like an old woman. There's nowhere left to run now. Damn monster twists my leg good. Hell, I'll run out of ammo too. God only knows how I'm gonna survive this. Sorry, dude. My apologies to you. Well, is that all this room was for? Wow.
I'm stuck. I'm fucking stuck. Of course I am. Ugh. Why can't I? Oh shit, am I going to stop? In here. Yeah, a little so, bit. Where is this emergency communication room? I don't know. Let's go find it. Um, this one? Note left in front of. 